this is Motu Sheik signing in and today I'm going to review Spider-Man Far From Home. After the Avengers Endgame, the good news is Thanos is no more. And the bad news is Tony died. The world Tony left for us is depressing. We found Peter Parker trying to hold up doing his regular stuff, but the world wants him to step into Tony's shoes and that's where he broke down and needed a vacation. When he was just about to join his buddies in a tour, he got interrupted. Nick Fury hijacks the school trip by recruiting Spidey to battle against the destructive elemental creatures alongside Jake's newly arrived hero, Quentin Beck, aka Mysterio purporting to hail from the same alternate dimension as the monsters. Mr. The director gets maximum mileage out of Spider-Man's status as the most acrobatic Avenger, punctuating the action set pieces with dizzying flips and swips, most effectively in the slick showdown on London's Tower Bridge. After losing Tony, MCU brought three father figures in Peter's life. One is Mysterio, who is typically non-traditional MCU twist on the source material, is now his co-worker and confidant, offering companionship and empathy for Parker's latest loss. And then there's Fury, Earth's most available hero in a literal school kid and relishing the chance to brandish his considerable authority over him. John Favreau's Happy Hogan now bonds with the youngster through their shared grief and fear of Fury, all while striking up a secret relationship with Aunt May. If the buddy relationship between Parker and Beck initially feels bland, Jake later shakes up his vanilla heroism, the film switching up a gear just as it appears to be going through the motions. There's no equivalent rock pool to the vulture reveal in Homecoming. Anyone who took Spidey Comics 101 will see a major development coming. But what stages his upping of the stakes moment with a jolt of energy that spars a wickedly fun second half, boasting surprising ties to the MCU that reaches right back to the franchise beginnings. Not only that, but Far From Home unexpectedly delivers the series' most thrillingly mind-bending imaginary since Doctor Strange had his third eye opened by the Ancient One. Despite everything else going on, Far From Home charmingly never loses sight of Peter Quest to ask out MJ. The couple's would-be romance is sweet and endearing. Far From Home is a loser film than Homecoming with pacing that occasionally slackers and a compulsion to give every minor character time to shine. But it's a light-footed summer blockbuster that faces Endgame's monolithic legacy head-on before leaving it behind to embark on its own globetrotting adventure. The MCU doesn't need a new Iron Man yet. Far From Home proves it's more than safe in the web-slinging hands of Spider-Man. If you like this video, please subscribe. If you have any opinion, please write in the comment box and put a thumbs up. I'll be back with the latest film review. Till then, bye.